Hello everyone, welcome back to IIT's and previous year paper solution series. Next five questions of 2010 are very interesting and important. You can see these questions on the screen. So let's see the question number 16. Shown below a profile section of a holder sequence consisting of limestone, cross bedded sandstone and shale. The fold can be termed as. I'm just hoping all of you are aware about this term. This is very interesting and important question. I have already discussed with you about few structures which can help us to find out the top and bottom sequence of any strata. And cross bed is one of them. There are two kind of cross bedding. First is normal cross bed. Second one is planar. So you will find this kind of structure in normal cross bedding and in plain cross bedding. So normal cross bedding is helpful in the identification and top and bottom sequence of any strata because this always represents the top sequence and this tangential part will represent the bottom part and in this question we will look this tangential part is this side. So this is bottom and this is top. So this is bottom. It means this cell is older and this is younger. It means we are getting the older rock in the core of a syncline. Now from here we can decide which one is younger, which one is older. So Sequences limestone, sandstone, and shale. This is younger to older. Now let's see these terms. This is the best diagram to explain all these four terms. So again, the D is this is D, and this is younger, and this is A that is older. So look at this section. The A is this is older, and this is younger. The same situation we found in this case. Shale is older and limestone is younger. Okay. So this is synformal and decline. When it is written like this, the first term will tell about the shape of that fold. That is, it is if it is antiformal, it will be like this. If it is synformal, it will like this, like in this case. And the second term will tell you the sequence of rock. Which one is older, which one is younger. If syncline, so in case of syncline, younger rock inside the pore and older rock outside. So this is how we can define synformal syncline, synformal anticline, antiformal syncline, and antiformal anticline. So let's move to the another question. The commercial magnesite deposit can be hosted in. Again, this is an important and very logical question. What is the formula of magnesite? MgCO. It means higher in Mg content and there must be a carbonate. Now look at the options serpentine, gabbro, potassium granite and nephilim cyanide. So in these two options you will get lesser amount of Mg content. So this option can't be possible. Do you know how serpentine forms? You must have read about the alteration of olmin. Albin are highly susceptible to alteration. Hydrothermal alteration of albin give rise to serpentine. So look at this equation. So this is how when albin that is Mg solvent is react with H2O and SiO2, it will give rise to the serpentinite. And when this serpentinite So this is the sequence of formation of magnesite. When olivine is react with H2O plus SiO2, it will give rise to the serpentinite. When serpentinite react with the carbon dioxide, it will give rise to the tal and magnesite. So our obvious answer is serpentinite. Basically magnesite is formed as an irregular veins 
the fracture or curse shown of serpentine or ultra basic round. So it is formed in the ultra basic round. Now you have to remember that the magnesite is the ultra ultra basic round. And what is the gabbro? This is the basic round. So question number 18 is Addition of a center of symmetry converts the crystal class of 6 to 2 to 2. Now if you have watched my crystallographic series, I have already explained about center of symmetry and the crystal class and I also explain about the symmetry content of this crystal class. If you know the symmetry content of this crystal class, you can easily tick your answer. So my request is whatever video I am uploading, please go and watch. It will only take 20 to 25 minutes maximum and you can get a lot of information from that. Video. So let's see the 6 to 2. Its symmetry content is 1A6 and 6A2. It means it has a 1 6 fold axis and a 6 2 fold rotation axis. Now, when you see the symmetry content of 6 by m, 2 by m, 2 by m, i, a6, 6a2, and 7m. And center and center of symmetry is represented by i or bar 1. Okay. So if we add one additional center of symmetry and mirror plane into the 62 it will become 6 by m 2 by m 2 by m so in question addition of a center of symmetry converts the crystal class 62 now what will be the symmetry content of other option go and watch my video you will get a lot of information from that look in crystallography you have to remember some data agar aapko jam clear karna hai to yahi sare questions hain jo aapko acche rank milayenge let's see the next question match texture in group 1 with the corresponding rock type in group 2. This is the easiest question what we have seen today. So I am giving you the 15 second. Can you tell me the answer? Okay, you can pause the video and solve it by yourself. So a spinific texture, it is a typical texture of ultramafic rock which is formed by the which is formed by the quenching effect. It will be formed like this. This is the dendritic growth of olivine crystal. Graphic texture. So graphic texture is intergroup texture between the quartz and microclay. Ophitic texture when the large biogen grains includes a small random plagioclase lads. And idiomorphic, most of the grains are u -hydrate. This is a peculiar texture of what kind of rock? Lamprophile. Now can you take the answer? As I told you, a spinifix texture is in form in ultramafic rock. So the only ultramafic rock in this sequence is Ometite. Graphic texture is formed between the quartz and microclay, so it will be pigmentite. And obvious ophitic texture in dolorite and paniodomorphic texture is lamprophile. So S2 and P4. The only option we have is B. The question is the chemical formula of all when containing 60 mole percent of phosphorite and 40 mole percent of pilite. So look. What is the formula of all we need is Mg Fe 2 Si 4. So this whole unit should be 2. And when we look at the empirical formula of, of all we need, it is Mg 1.6 Fe 0 0.4. SI04. Okay. So this is the empirical formula of all men. But in question, we have a posterite is 60 and pilite is 40%. So basically, all men is a series of a rock whose end member is posterite and pilite. Posterite is mg rich, pilite is fe rich. So from question we have a mole percentage. So let's calculate the phosphorite percentages. By the basic knowledge of chemistry, 60 
divided by 60 plus 40 so it is 0.6 and 40 divided by 60 plus 40 that is 0.4 so it is 0.6 and 0.4 but it should be 2 unit so mg 1.2 and fe 0.8 and si04 so this will be the answer according to me okay so this option is a and this option is c so anybody expert in this can help me out which one is the right answer we will see another five question tomorrow so thank you for watching this be safe and keep your family safe